how does the community respond to that? And the studies were very revealing. They called it search bar spirituality. That people were more willing to type a spiritual question into Google than they were to go talk to their friends about it. 44% more willing. Now, as a pastor, my immediate reaction is, no, absolutely not. Like, we will evangelize. We'll go out. We'll reach people. But who is that on? Is it on the person that's doing the search, or is that on the church to send our people out and equip our people and give them the tools and the resources to make them present, to say, you have a way to bring these questions out and put them forward. And guess what we're looking for as Christians? This was another study done. And that when they're typing in questions about the Bible and Scripture and how does Scripture inform our life, that the people who are unchurched are asking questions about faith. What do I believe about Jesus? What should I believe about Jesus? How do I know God? They're questioning faith. Do you know what people who are churched are looking for in Scripture? Very interesting. Comfort and wisdom is the top two things that people look for in Scripture. And they look by verse not by book. They look for these things that are saying, here is a spiritual verse for me that I can take, and I can understand this one verse, and I'm going to pull it out, and I'm going to hold it with me. And it gives me comfort. But people who are unchurched are saying, how do I believe in Jesus? So now we're seeing that even people who are unchurched are longing to be present in a community that has a great understanding of hope and peace and joy. And the church needs to bring that together. So we call this, in key trend number two, search for our spirituality. People willing to type a question into Google about Scripture but not open the Bible. And the church's mission is to get people to come to Scripture and to open the Bible together. That's why we are so big every single Sunday about giving you tools for Scripture, about walking you through where it's at in Scripture so that you can know how to open the Bible and my goal for people, and here's where it's at, I believe, where we're starting from, is that you would just open the Bible. That's it. I don't think it's any more than that right now. I think we can get there. But my goal for the church would be to say, I want you to open your Bible this week. That's it. I want you to open your Bible. The blessing last year that came through this study was that people opened their Bible more than they had ever had before. That might be more than three to four times a year was people who read their Bible. That was the condition of being a Bible reader, three to four times per year. And it said they opened it weekly and monthly to read scripture and find comfort and wisdom. So now we need to match as a church, search for our spirituality, which I think can be a series in the future, but search for, I mean, just think about that, answering the top 10 questions from Google about church or faith. Oh, that'd be incredible. So you have this. We need to answer as a church, how do you reach those who are searching for faith? and meet them with scripture in the body of Christ. Here's the next one. I want you to turn back <clears throat> and open verse 7. Listen to verse 7. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because you hold me in your heart 